Okay, we're about to start. So starting sequence at the moment. Switch one, two, three, and four are off. As in, there are no cars wanting to turn right, so we'll go through the full sequence as it is. First time I was counting down for 30 seconds. And the yellow comes on for two seconds. And then we go to the second lot of greens, G2 and G4 for another 30 seconds with R1 and R3 uh, red to stop the traffic in that direction. Uh, we'll go to Y2 and Y4 for two seconds next. sequence so we have a car in G3 S3 I mean so after 30 seconds Y1 and Y3 will come on for two seconds and then GR1 and GR3 will come on similarly we will also have a car in GR2 so S2 will be on GR2, we have four red lights, stopping traffic going straight, only corner around the corner. <coughs> and two second, and then we go to the other side, G2 and G4. Green for 30 seconds. And then we'll get a yellow Y2 and Y4 for two seconds. And we get GR2 and GR4. start of the sequence. So just to show you, this is the program I've written. So we have a start run latch which is in all the lines. Um, this one here does GR1, uh, G, green 1, green 2. There's eight timers running through the sequence, each time our outputs, which is outputted to the visualization so you can actually see what's going on. And working through the sequence, it either resets back to the start after the first sequence if the switches aren't set, or if S1, S2, S3 or S4 are set, then it works through. I've used all timer on delays in this situation um, with a number of resets and sets. Thank you.